Hey, welcome back to the channel, folks. So, question for you. Did you do the same mistake I did and think that a USB-C was the same thing as a Thunderbolt 3 port? Well, what it got me was three Lassie drives that I can't even use. So if you don't wanna make the same mistake I did and save yourself a lot of headache, stay tuned, we're gonna talk all about USB. Let's hit it. Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Janica of Steven and Janica. And today we're talking about USB, specifically the difference between USB-C and Thunderbolt 3. And this is part of our ongoing series of Wednesday Wisdoms. So the thing is, is I thought USB-C and Thunderbolt 3 was the same thing. And the reason I thought this was because the ports look exactly the same. Um, I take one USB connector and I plug it into my Mac. That's a Thunderbolt 3, not a problem. My Samsung, that's a USB charging cord. I take my MacBook Thunderbolt uh, charger and I put it right into my Samsung. Not a problem. So what's the problem? Well, the problem arose when I ordered a Lassie off uh, Amazon that was compatible with USB-C. Not a problem, right? I went and I plugged it into my MacBook Pro. It wouldn't fit. Not at all. I took that cord and I put it into my Samsung. It fit. I put it into another Thunderbolt 3 port. Didn't fit. That's when I started thinking, are these things different? So what I learned was they are indeed different and there's a subtle difference. So technically there should be no difference about how it fits because USB-C is actually the connector and Thunderbolt 3 is actually hard drive developed by Apple and Intel, I believe, that is uses the USB-C connector. So in that way, there should be no difference on how it fits. I don't know if it's like a, a, a development problem with the last C drives, if there's an issue with their USB-C connectors, but they will not fit into a Thunderbolt 3 port. But regardless, what you want is you want a Thunderbolt 3 compatible LASI drive. And I'll put links in the comments below to all the LASI drives that uh, you can have. So what happens is on the website, it said Thunderbolt USB-C. So I order this one. What comes? A Thunderbolt 2 LASI drive that has a USB-C connector. Okay, not really what I need. But when I looked deeper, what I found was the regular USB-C Lassie fits and is compatible with Thunderbolt 3 ports. And that's in the fine print. So when they say Thunderbolt, they mean Thunderbolt 2. When they say USB-C, it's compatible with Thunderbolt 3 ports. So what is the difference then between USB-C and Thunderbolt 3? Well, the thing is, is that, like I said before, one is a connector and one's hardware. So you can't really compare them, but what you can do is you could talk about the data transfer speeds between Thunderbolt 3 and USB in general. So the USB technology that USB-C can support uh, has data transfer speeds of five to 20 gigabits per second. And Thunderbolt 3 actually supports data transfer speeds for up to 40 gigabits per second. So when you're doing stuff like transferring 4K files, you wanna get a Lassie external rugged drive that supports that Thunderbolt 3 compatibility. And really that's it. You know, um, you'll find videos out there that go uh, into a lot of detail about uh, the history of USB and all of that. But the main difference is Thunderbolt 3 is just faster than USB in general. So this might all change when USB 4.0 and Thunderbolt 4 comes out, but we'll just have to wait and see. Let me know what you guys think uh, and about this Wednesday wisdom. Did you know that USB-C and Thunderbolt 3 are two different things that they just use the same connector? Um, I thought they were the exact same thing and I never knew why sometimes my phone charged faster plugged into um, my iMac uh, charger or plugged into the USB-C uh, charger that it came with. Would love to hear what you guys think comment below and until next uh, Wednesday wisdom we'll catch you later bye